match at Wembley. You know, you said it was towards the end of the fourth round and you've got that punch in. Yeah. Do you think if, you know, it be earlier in the round, the fourth round, or going to the fifth round had been a bit sooner, etc., do you reckon you would have uh, knocked him out? Yeah, well, I mean... Uh, you know, I mean, I was always confident. I mean, I was like, I was always confident with Ali. I mean, um, you know, I always thought I could catch him with the left hook, and that, and that was my big punch, and I did on that fight. You know, um, you know, the thing is, they did. You know, Angelo Dundee is a manager trainer. He's a sharp cookie. You know, I mean, he. Uh, that's why they pay him millions of dollars. They think on their feet, and he had to do something because. He's, and, he, and I've had dinner and lunch with him like two or three times since then, and he said. And he rubs it in every time. He always says, oh, I, I would have never recovered him in, in time. He said, if, if, if I hadn't have done that, he said, I see the stitching on the glove. The stitching on the right-hand glove had stretched. It hadn't torn, but it had stretched. So he just, he had, he's got a bony finger now. He's had like a, an accident with his thumb. And what he did, he just stuck in and ripped it and called the referee over. Now, the referee then had to go to the stewards in charge, find what was going to happen, and they decided to to change the glove the next round. So they he had like over a, over a two minute, over a two minute interval. I mean, for a, that's all you want as a fighter is to recover, you know. I mean, to have that amount of time to recover, it was marvelous, you know. But he got it for his man there, he, you know. So it was a bit, and then they had the old, um, they had the, uh, what's the name? I'm just trying to think of the, uh, the things, they, their capsules, which they, break on the nose, it brought him to him. You see him when he stands up, he slaps him on the face and pushes him down. That's what he come to when they, they're illegal, basically. You know, you can only, you know, suppose in this country, like cold water to re revive someone, yeah. And let's talk about your, your second fight at Highbury now. You know, yeah. How did you feel going up against him again the second time? Well, once again, I was confident. You know, I, I was confident in my. I I knew I had a style that perhaps upset him a little bit because you know I had all the power in me left. I um, you know, I mean, it just wasn't just like a measuring stick. It was you know, I, mean, I used to hurt me if I hit him with a straight some left jabs and you know, and that was my punch. And I was you know, um, I hadn't when when that eye cut open again, basically, in in like the fifth round, something like that. I think it was in then. In, when that happened, uh, I was just beginning to get me reach. I was just beginning to reach him. I'd got me me distance and this that, and then wallop. Then the eye came open again. You know, so uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, they were so bad. I mean, Ali was the type of sort of puncher. He wasn't a short, sharp puncher. He was a long flicker. Boom, boom. You know, and he flicked it, and it dragged your flesh, and that's what he did. It. You know, it tore my hand. It tore me up with my eye open. Unfortunately, so. Referee then had no nothing else to do but the stoppage, you know. Yeah.